Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the red zone and lost 30.17 points or 0.53%, settling at 5,682 points. Market turnover was 6.35 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 5.08% compared to the previous trading day. Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Renata and Beximco Pharmaceuticals from the pharmaceutical sector. Brac Bank, Bank Asia and Prime Bank from the banking sector, and Grameen Phone Limited and Bangladesh Submarine cables from the telecommunications sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the NBFI sector posted the highest gain of 1.98%, while the insurance sector registered the second highest gain of 1.14%. On the other hand, the textile sector posted the highest loss of 1.07% today. For paper and printing, three food and allied and three pharmaceuticals companies were among the top 20 losers today. Bangladesh Thai Aluminium, Global Heavy Chemicals and ICBAMCL CMSF Golden Jubilee Mutual Fund registered the highest gain while National Tea Company, Trust Bank First Mutual Fund and Libra Infusions were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of National Bank, Mercantile Insurance and Desh Garments increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above mentioned stocks. Top two news today. The Asian Development Bank, ADB, is expected to provide 900 million United States dollars in budget support to Bangladesh by March next year, according to the Finance Ministry. Of this, 400 million United States dollars may be dispersed in December to help the country navigate challenges linked to its upcoming graduation from least developed country LDC status in 2026. The remaining 500 million United States dollars, aimed at banking sector reforms, is likely to be available by March. This financial assistance is seen as critical for ensuring Bangladesh's smooth economic transition and strengthening its financial sector amidst evolving challenges. The mandatory use of jute packaging for food items is struggling due to poor enforcement and logistical issues. The inclusion of new products without assessing the availability or practicality of jute sacks has slowed progress, despite clear environmental benefits. Economists and industry experts are urging a more focused effort on enforcement rather than full-scale implementation. Businesses also highlight concerns about moisture damage to items like flour and sugar, alongside doubts about the supply of jute sacks. Experts recommend a phased approach to balance environmental goals with practical industry concerns. That's all for today. Thank you.